Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a password removal tool. It is called TIPPARD, T-I-P-A-R-D, password removal, or password reset. So you're looking at my account here, and it has a password on it. Well, I try to enter my password, I can't remember what it is. I go, oh, what do I do? So here's what I do. I click restart. So what's going to happen is, is I am going to go into that software. So what's going to happen is, as soon as that software goes, the computer reads the software, what's going to happen is you're going to see it and what it'll do is it'll show the account and once it shows the account I can blank out the password so we have to wait a little bit here because uh, the computer is obviously doing some updates here So I will be back when this is done. Okay, so the it's done updating. I accidentally turned it off. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to power it back on and we are going to go into that software. There we go, it is loading the software now. So what you're gonna see is this loading RAM disk image. What's happening is, is the computer is reading the image from the disk and it's throwing it into memory, is what's happening. Now, what you see is something called Windows PE. The PE stands for Pre-Existing Environment. This is based off of Windows XP, obviously, as you can see. Okay, so as you see here, there are multiple accounts. You have the ID is 500, which is the administrator and the password is unknown. 501, which is guest and the password is unknown. 1002, which is home group user, and that is unknown. So, here's what I am going to do. I am going to select administrator, click reset password. You said, and what will happen is, as you said, set it to blank, so I set it to blank. So, now, we can reboot it. I take the disk out okay so now the disk is out and I click yes so now what's going to happen is the machine's going to restart and when I go into it it's going to let me g go in with no issue whatsoever now this software is compatible with Windows 7 obviously Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 11. Start Windows normally.
so once this boots we are going to see what happens here And the software that I had bought, see? So the password is now removed, and we are in the account. So the software is really, really good for Windows 7 and up. Now, the software, there are a couple different packages you could buy. Um, the trial will not let you reset passwords. Unfortunately, the trial doesn't let you do that. I bought the premium one for $40 US. And what you do is you install the software on your computer. Then what you do is you create a boot CD, DVD, or boot USB. You go into it just like what we saw. And you can change your password. And as you can see, we are in with no problem whatsoever. So anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.